Hey guys, alright, so I am finally here to do my hospital bag haul thing. I don't really know what to call this besides hospital bag. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys everything that's in it, everything I'm going to unpack, and yeah. So I will also be doing a diaper bag video, like what's in my hospital slash diaper bag for her, like later. Well, still today I'm going to film, but you don't know what I'm trying to say, I hope. So if I look extra globy today, uh, it's because it's like a thousand jillion hundred degrees. Not actually, but it's really hot, so yeah. Alright, so my hospital bag is my giant TNA bag. I had this for quite a few years now, so it just it fits everything perfectly and... Why not? What? Why is my hair being weird? Okay. So, in the top, literally, it's all just, like, packed in here. So, anyways, on the top, I have my pre prenatal vitamins. Um, I'm going to take my smaller one of this because I cut them all up. So, I don't have to swallow, like, a huge one. But I will be taking... My prenatals only because I will be breastfeeding and taking prenatals after birth is still good while your body is going back to normal. So, yeah. And then in here I just have my toiletries is what people call them. So, yeah, I have everything in here. I got travel sizes of everything and new things only to make myself feel a little bit better. So it looks like this. And this is for like makeup and everything, but makeup will be my purse, which I'm also taking my purse because that has like my toothbrush, brush, will have my charger, my small thing of prenatals. What else is in here? My wallet, health card. Basically anything that I need that's not in here will be in there. So in this clear part, um, Oh, by the way, I also got everything I need to take from my mom, and my mom had three kids, so, like, me and my sisters, him, she was with my dad the entire time, they're married. So, she knows what to pack, and I watched a few, um, what's in my hospital bag videos, but with first time moms and second time moms, because second time moms bring the actual stuff you need instead of overpacking, but I'm an overpacker always. I'm a just-in-case type person. So yeah, but I have a whole bunch of Q-tips. Not like I'm going to need this much, but I just packed a whole bunch. And because this pregnancy, I've been sweating more than usual. So I can't, I don't really use my, like, Dove deodorant. So my mom, it was like a sale. So I got two Lady Speed Sticks, and I don't want... Um, like an actual scent, like I have the strawberry one right now, but I'm not going to pack that one. So this one's brand new, literally, and it just smells like clean and fresh. It's called Balance, just, you know, take this with me for after when I shower, after birth, well, during birth it's like a bloody, huge, you're literally bleeding, and everything is just, it's a bloody scene. So then after you shower, and so I have a um, little travel size Pantene shampoo and conditioner, smooth and sleek. These I picked up just to have, and then I have a little bottle of Crest 3D White, and then my toothbrush will also be my purse. And then I just have a body wash, um, juicy pomegranate and mango infused. I've used this stuff before. It smells literally so good. It just, it smells so clean and so fresh. So, I'm bringing that. And then I've heard that the hospitals are really dry. So, I have the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. And I also have lip butter in my purse. So, yeah, I'm taking that with me. And then I have little Honest Company sample size. Um, Honest Face and Body lotion to take with me just in case and then I have Kleenex in that pouch 
and then in this one I just have nursing pads they each come like individually wrapped so I have like 10 in there I think and then I just have some personal wipes with aloe and vitamin E um, alcohol free and all of that and they're also flushable so I just have a whole bunch of those for after just to freshen up because let's be real it's not gonna be a pretty sight okay so then in the bag it just looks like this and I will show you guys everything I brought so I just have my maternity dress it's really just nice and long and it, the straps can come off so I'm taking this because you're gonna want flowy stuff because your belly is gonna be like half its size but like super not cute so taking that and then I'm just taking four pairs of underwear big granny panties because girl afterwards you're not gonna want something up your butt and especially because you have to wear like huge pads so I have two um, maternity underwear and love pink ones because girl I spent money and I got really nice love pink underwear because afterwards you're not feeling that great and just some new underwear will, will make you feel grand so yeah I'm just taking some new underwear and then I packed two nursing bras with the little things these ones are not padded but I don't really care for padded in the hospital and then I have two socks and I have to pack fluffy ones with grips and then of course pads because you're bleeding like a crazy man so yeah I have those okay so then I packed just a t-shirt this one is from Fred 21 it's literally plain black and then from Walmart because girl I you never know stains might happen I just I don't know what happens so I got just cheap Walmart comfortable pants to have and then, because after birth they do check you to make sure you don't have any hemorrhoids or if you have stitches, like everything's healing great and well and wonderful. So then I packed this nightgown from Love Pink. And it just says, care less, sleep more. And it's just super comfortable. And then I have pajama shorts. These are from Forever 21. So I just have some pajama shorts. Cause I don't know. The, I don't know what the temperature is gonna be like in there. And then I just have a long sleeve mint kind of color shirt um, from Love Pink too. Don't think I'm rich because I have Love Pink. It's just I just so called have Love Pink clothes. Um, and then I just have some track pants. These are also from Love Pink. But yeah, I just have some track pants. These can also go with the black top, so yeah. And then my going home outfit, if I don't want to wear that dress, I have leggings. I don't know if I'm going to want to wear leggings either, but that can also go with the black top, and I'm going to pack another one. So yeah, and then I just have this long flannel that goes past my butt because, you know, when you're wearing big underwear, you have underwear lines, and I still will not find those cute afterwards. So yeah. That's literally all I have packed for the hospital. And then I'm going to have, like, my face wash, my makeup remover, and my BB cream, Pantene, hair stuff. So I will have all those in a water bottle packed with me. And I'm going to pack a pillowcase because sometimes it makes people feel better if they have a pillowcase, like their own. So I will have that, my charger... All of that jazz in my purse and then the, like the pillowcase and stuff in my bag so I hope this video got, was helpful for you guys so yeah um, I hoped this helped you I know I just said that but I had to stop the video so I wasn't sure anyways so yeah that's what I have packed I don't know if I'm over packing I don't think so maybe with the clothes but then again I don't know if the hospital is going to be cold or warm and I'm gonna have my own private room so I'll be able to have space for all that stuff. Yeah, and I don't think I'll be taking my birthing ball. Um, maybe when I'm in labor, I'll be like, yes, bring it. But then, hmm, I won't. And anything else I really need that I am forgetting, my mom and sisters will have them like ponytails. I always have one on my wrist and one in my purse. So, yeah. Anyways, I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!